There is nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with you. Wait till the end, I have something very important I want to share with you. Welcome back my queens, it's your girl Jess and today's video is all about friendships. How to not feel lonely, how to notice red flags and also when it's time to just let a friendship go. Let's get to the video. This is all coming from personal experience. So for any of you watching, I want you to know that you are not alone. If you do feel a bit lonely, you're not alone. Like we are, there are so many people out there that also have or don't have, sorry, that many group of friends or what I would consider to be loyal friends and people that are there for them when they really need it. So let's talk about how to notice red flags. Okay, my biggest thing is when you notice your friends, friends or whoever that person is that you consider a best friend, right? When they're not truly happy for you in your success, I don't consider that to be a good friend at all. When you're really upset or you're just not in a good headspace and you just don't feel like you're being heard by your friend, you feel like all they want to do is talk about themselves or they just, you know, they're so consumed up in their own stuff. I don't personally think that's a good friend either. I just think that when you're, when you are in a place where you just want to have that, like, you just really want to have someone close to you and you want to like have a best friend, you kind of let a lot of things slide and you don't really like to pick up on it because you don't want to notice that there's anything wrong in the friendship because you don't want to let that person go. But deep down, you know that there is something that isn't right. You don't need to always be apologizing if they've done something wrong. I feel like if obviously you have done something to hurt your friend, I truly believe you shouldn't. My whole thing is don't go to sleep when you're angry at anyone. <laughs> if it's someone that you love and you really want to fix it, you should. Although I truly believe that if you know in your heart that what has happened isn't, not even your fault, but it like, it's something that has upset you. If that person doesn't genuinely feel sorry or like try to make you feel valid, validated or your feelings validated, then that is not a good friend. If a friend is always kind of picking at you, calling you clingy or calling you like names that you kind of just get offended by, that is not a friend. I do believe you should tell them and if they keep doing it or if they make it out like, oh my God, you're making such a big deal out of nothing, then they're not validating your feelings. And how can you be friends with someone that isn't validating how you feel or is making you feel like how you're feeling is wrong? If you feel like you don't have a mutual friendship like with your friend, so say for example, you're willing to always drive to them, you don't really care where you go as long as you guys are together, but your friend only wants them to, only wants you to go to them. I don't personally think that is a healthy friendship, mainly because that friend is kind of just like, well, it's more convenient if you come to me, so you just keep coming to me. It's so different when it's like give and take, so one day you come to me, one day I come to you. That's a completely different vibe. But if you're just always chasing your friend, or when you're upset, you're always going to your friend, and your friend isn't really coming to you, I don't necessarily think then that is a good friendship that you, a healthy friendship that you want to maintain. Comment down below if you also feel like you don't really have that many group of friends and you feel like you're the only one because I want to prove to you you're not the only one. There are so many of us that are kind of just on our own at this stage, but that doesn't necessarily mean we have to be lonely, right? Not having that massive group of friends at this stage can actually benefit you because you can focus more on the things that you actually want to do. You can prioritize your life into a way where you're like, okay, this is what I'm going to do today. If you want to go out, go out by yourself. You never know where that's going to take you. When I went out by myself, I actually met the nicest people and we still talk till now. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like if you just take that leap of faith and do something that you're uncomfortable with, you really don't know where that's going to lead you. My biggest tip is also don't jump for someone that doesn't even care if you jump and will like kind of let you go in a heartbeat. Now, in saying that, I'm the type of person that I won't do what you do to me, but also you gotta know when to put yourself first. I feel like in friendships, I speak from experience when I, there were so many times where I would never put myself first because I just wanted to make sure that my friend was always okay and accommodated for. But then I would think, okay, but am I? And I never really was, right? My biggest point of advice as well is if someone says something to you and that you 
don't agree with don't just agree for the sake of agreeing oh my god this was me on a new level if someone says something i'm like yeah yeah okay but in my head i'd be like no like i don't like what you said to me or whatever and i know that they say when like play a fool's game and just let them believe everything they say is right and i i agree with that but in saying that there's a difference between doing that and standing up for yourself if your friend consistently is like putting you down or saying things that are kind of rude to you especially in front of people I think you should either pull them aside or just be like, well, that wasn't very nice. You don't have to be rude about it, but stand your ground. The more you start realizing your own self-worth, the less you'll tolerate from anyone. And that is a, a big thing that I have learned, especially last year. I felt like last year and the year before that, I lost so many friends and I, I was a little bit upset about it, but nowhere near as upset as I used to be when I used to when this happened consistently. And I used to think there was something wrong with me, but there is nothing wrong with you. It's just you're on this level, and the people that you're hanging out with are probably on this level. Do you see? So you either got to stoop down to their level. They're not going to rise up to to your level because they don't think that they're that you're above them. And there's I'm not trying to kind of put anyone above anyone but I'm just saying there are different levels in life and if you're not hanging out with people on your level or above you're only gonna go down I truly believe you are who your friends are right would you rather be with a group of friends that talk about you probably don't even really like you aren't there to support you lift you up they get jealous of you when you're doing something differently to the way they're doing it or would you rather be alone, fulfill yourself, love yourself, truly grow within and just keep rising up to the to anything that you want to be because it's, we're limitless, right? We can do anything that we want, but you can only do that if you have the mindset for it. My biggest lesson that I have ever learned is when you are completely radiating an energy that flows within you and outside of you, people feel your energy and they gravitate towards you. I kid you not. I was at a beauty expo two years back. This is when I started my journey really. And some random makeup artist, I'm not even kidding. She just came up to me and she said, I don't know what it is, but something, it was, I felt like your energy was drawing me to you and I, I have to come and speak to you. And I was so freaking touched because I'm working so much on myself to truly appreciate myself and be proud of myself and be my own best friend. Tell myself, hey girl, it's okay. Like it's okay to have bad days, don't worry baby, but we're gonna get through it and we're gonna get through it together, right? Literally talking to myself like that. And another person felt my energy and felt my self-respect and came and spoke to me. And then we have a great friendship. It's totally fine to kind of go through a phase in your life where you don't have that many friends or you seem to be losing friends all the time but just please don't think there's anything wrong with you because you're just kind of outdating those people those people are they belong to like-minded people and sometimes as we grow and our mind changes and we evolve and our career changes and our perspective of life changes so does our friendship groups and that's totally fine be careful who you tell your secrets to, biggest lesson I've ever learned, because I truly believe that there are some genuine people out there that will never tell your secrets, but there are people out there that will tell everyone and act like they have no idea what you're talking about. So I like to write my secrets down in a, or well, not even secrets, I like to write things that are personal to me in a diary. and. I heal myself from them and if I really need to tell someone I speak to God or I speak to my sister or my mum or my brother because I know that they won't betray me if that makes sense and if you don't have someone specifically to tell write it down I'm telling you it helps so much you can do this all on your own and I'm not saying that you're never gonna have a friend because you will you're gonna have a lot of friends but just be wary if those are the friends you want to surround your success, surround your life, surround your misery, surround everything around. Because sometimes it's those friends that turn around and try to talk to your ex-boyfriend. Or, you know, do things that you're kind of like, really? Like, okay, you were meant to be my family friend, but all good in the hood. You know, like, I used to think my life was a movie because of how many things had happened. Like, I'm like, this only happens in movies. Then my mum once said to me, how do you think movies happen because of real life? And I was like, mind blown, mind blown. So I just want you to know that you're not lonely. Ugh. I just want you to know that it's totally okay to not have a lot of friends. And I know sometimes it, it feels like it sucks because you see all these people hanging out with each other and going out and having fun. But let me tell you something. 
trust me when I say all these big influencers that are friends, a lot of them are only friends because it benefits them online to be friends because their followers all um, kind of engage together. They seem they, they grow their following that way. They grow their brand that way. So please don't be deceived by everything you see. There's a lot that happens behind closed doors that we don't know about. So don't worry about them. Focus on yourself. Focus on healing yourself, growing yourself. Be wary of those red flags. Be wary when someone just kind of asks you all the time for something. And when you ask for something, you feel they don't want to really help you. Don't be afraid to ask for anything because I know I was. And the reason I feel like you might be is because you need to work on some past traumas and it's very hard to do. But once you get over that, I'm telling you, uh, you feel lighter, you feel, you feel bliss. You feel like, wow, okay. I know that the friendship I will attract is the friend that I am to myself. Because why would you want a friend that doesn't treat you as good as you treat yourself? Just remember that because there have been times in my life where I felt like I was always giving too much. And I was like, okay, am I like, is this friend, does this friend see how much I'm willing to do for this person, like to do for you? And it's not reciprocated. So be, be like community with your friend and be like, look, I feel like you're this kind of friend to me. Totally fine if you don't feel the same way. I just want to know which, like, I just want to know your thoughts. I just want to know what you're thinking. Be open if they're not happy to have that conversation then it's good sometimes you don't need to have that conversation and that's totally fine but you need to realize that sometimes the friends you're with they're not on your level like i said and don't be sad about it be happy because you attract those people that are on your level even if it's one person right even if it's your husband and his sister-in-law or whoever it is even if it's your own sister or your brother or you know whatever it's totally fine to just have one friend. It's totally fine to just have yourself because I truly believe everything happens for a reason and this is probably happening so we can work on ourselves and we can grow. So then when you are at that level, you meet people that are on that level and higher than you. So then your friendship group grows and grows and grows to higher success levels and it takes you on places that you've never thought you'd be. So please don't be upset if you don't have that many friends or you don't really have any friends. Trust me, trust me. And I believe this to you because I'm on the same boat as you. I believe that with time, everything amazing happens. You know, when we just have to start from ourselves, change the way we think, change the way we feel about ourselves, stop comparing ourselves to people, stop, you know, feeling sorry for ourselves because it's easy to do that. And I'm not saying what you have gone through isn't, you know, bad and traumatic because it's totally valid right but i'm saying it's either you want to live there and do nothing with your life and just be miserable and think everyone hates you and think you're never gonna have any friends or you're like you know what this is my time to heal this is my time to shine like the sun i am going to rise the hell up queen and i am going to attract the people that are meant to be in my life i promise you it will happen have faith just want you to know i am your number one friend i love you so much we're in this together, you are never alone. I love you. Always trust your intuition. Please don't be like me and jump to a friendship as soon as someone shows you love or affection or they share a little secret with you because usually they're doing that just because they need an event and it's actually proven that when someone shares a little secret about themselves, you feel very comfortable and you feel like that they trust you and you share something back. Please just be mindful of that because I have done that so many times and it hasn't really led me to the best place. But like I said, we live and learn big lessons I've learned and I truly feel so much gratitude for where I am now and the people that are in my life now. I might not have the most closest people to me, but I have people that I know are there for me and support me. And I know you do too. Trust me, you do as well. And I truly believe in time, everything comes together. So just be mindful, be alert at all times. Let your walls down a little bit, but not too much. And just trust yourself. Trust yourself so much because when you do, that's when you'll really be able to tell if someone is genuinely your friend or if they're just jealous of you or they, they kind of want to make fun of you or just want you around so they can get information of you. And if you're that type of person, leave me a comment down below because you're a special one. You're that type of person that people run to when they need you because they know that your opinion and your wisdom and the things that you're going to say are not only from the heart, but they're going to actually truly help and inspire people. And there are not a lot of people like that, my honey. Keep slaying and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.
Bye.